Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. OneNote installs a default notebook containing information about OneNote and examples of the types of information you can collect, store, and share in OneNote. Also by default, OneNote will open the notebook that you are working on when you last close the program. To open a notebook that isn't already opened, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Open command at the left side of the backstage view. If the notebook is saved in OneDrive, you can click the name of the notebook shown in the Open from OneDrive section to open it. If the notebook is not saved in OneDrive, you can use the commands within the Open from Other Locations section to find it and open it. To open a recently opened notebook, click the Recent command and then select the name of the notebook shown in the list to the right. To search for and open a notebook within your OneDrive folders, click the OneDrive command and then select a folder from the list to the right. To open a notebook saved to your computer, click the This PC command and then select a folder to the right. To search within a new location, such as a OneDrive or SharePoint location, you can click the Add a Place command to add a new location if needed. If you do not see the desired folder shown in the list that appears to the right after selecting either the OneDrive or This PC command, you can click or tap the Browse command to open the Open Notebook dialog box. You can use this dialog box to navigate to the location of the desired notebook. After locating the notebook, you can double click on the notebook icon or click the notebook icon and then click the open button to open it using this dialog box. Saving files in OneNote is different from other Microsoft Office programs because OneNote automatically saves changes that you make to your notebook. There is no need to save as you work because it is done for you by the program. There is no save command or button within OneNote. You can close the OneNote program by simply clicking the X in the upper right corner of the application which automatically closes all notebooks. However, to close a notebook and leave OneNote open, you can simply right-click the button of the notebook within the Notebook drop-down and then choose the Close this notebook command from the menu that appears. To close a single open notebook from the backstage view, you can click the File tab in the ribbon and locate the notebook to close within the Notebook Information area to the right. Click its adjacent Settings button and then choose Close from the drop-down menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.